Hello everybody, welcome back to Papa Saw Shop. I'm Papa, and uh, today uh, I got a little different hat on. You might notice the first time I think I wore this thing on, uh, on one of these videos, but uh, anyway, it is hotter than, uh, well, I, I don't want to say it on the on the YouTube or anything, because the kids might be watching, but uh, anyway, you get the idea. I'm in here in my shorts, of course I got my black shirt on, because I'm uh, Johnny Cash, you know, wearing the black. Anyway, if you haven't heard that song, you should look it up. Uh, anyway, I digress. Uh, I wanted to just take a quick moment. I wanted to show everybody the new HP series with the new upgrades and stuff that's coming out. Uh, just got done with this guy right here. And take a look at this. Boy, this is something I've been working on for a little bit. And uh, so... So this girl is pretty. Look at that. So, of course, got the goat on the front. And uh, don't have the goat on the back yet on this one here. I got to run to the store, get some supplies. Half Pints tell me that she didn't have any any material to put another sticker on there. So anyway, anyhow, but you get the idea. But look at this bottom. Look at that. Remember how the old, the old one was just right to here? Well, this one's got the two holes, you know, just case, because the mufflers always go loose on these little guys. Um, but it's got the, got the little holes on here. You can tighten up the exhaust on here. And uh, I, I'm noticing as the sun comes through here how that glistens in the sun. That's pretty nice. Um, but anyway, um, still... Still runs like the old goat, um, but anyway, still fires right up just like a, just like the old goat should. Um, anyway, got uh, there's a little there's a little anchor. Let me see if I can get this turned around here. A little anchor piece right here that I'm um, thinking about. If if you want to leave a comment down there in the bottom, I would love to hear from you guys. I'm I'm thinking about putting an emblem or something right here. This this little piece. I'll get up close right here so you can see what it is. But basically, that's the anchor that holds that wrap around all the way around, and that helps to anchor that thing. It's bugging me right here, that, that little piece right there. I, I think it looks kind of sharp having it, but uh, I've discovered that I have to have it. But it'd be cool to have, I don't know, something there, you know. Um, but uh, you guys have any ideas? You guys or girls have any ideas? You know what we ought to put on that on that little diamond plate right there. You let me know, because um, I've I've come up with a few things, but nothing seems to work. But I'd I'd love to hear some ideas. So leave them down in the comments if you would, and, and uh, I'd sure appreciate it. I'd love to hear from you. But uh, anyway, I just want to show you real quick uh, just this new upgrade we got. Also, I've been working on it for a while, uh, and uh, my my guy down in. Uh, my R&D guy down in Roseburg that uh, is still patiently, patiently waiting um, for a saw. As I know, there's a few of you out there that are still patiently waiting. I got the old chip off my shoulder all taken off, and it's it's going good. I had a shoulder replacement surgery, and anyway, that's a whole other story. But uh, anyway, I'm I'm back to doing this stuff full time, and um, so we're we're knocking these things out. And, and uh, but this one here is uh, going to a guy that's been incredibly patient with me and uh, so but this this one here and a papa saw is headed out to him tomorrow but um, anyway I got it forgot my train of thought now uh, oh I know what I was gonna say I've got it um, I've been working on this for a long time and I've I finally got it on the old 200s, and you you know this is what these are modeled off of. It was the old 200s, but the old 200s had they were pretty much um, they were pretty much just the the tree climber saw back in the day. I mean these these little guys were just do it all kind of saw. And uh, anyway, they they had they had one major flaw that they would get so doggone hot that they would start seizing up a little bit and they'd rattle things apart. And, um, the, the one thing that we've done to solve that is a grade eight screws. Now that 
that has that has helped with things not rattling apart in there. That's that's been uh, instrumental in in making sure that the longevity of these things. So that's why we build these. Um, I build these things so that you can have a saw for a long time, and and that's the whole idea of getting these things out to you. That's not not so you go out. Let me tell you a quick story. I had an arborist come in today. He said, you know. I'd like to get one of these these HP series saws, but you know my boss, he he gets the. I'm not gonna say what it is. It's almost this, but a little bit newer. And if you've been around the block, you know what I'm talking about. But he says, you know, my boss can get those things, and they're like 900 bucks, brand new. But by the time they give us a discount, a discount, and everything, they're they're like five six hundred bucks, and as a really, five to six hundred bucks. Well, I tell you what. I built these guys right here. Right now they're on sale for $9.50. We're going to be raising the price back up pretty soon because I, I'm doing these things for virtually nothing right now. I mean, these, um, because $9.50 on these guys, you're getting a heck of a deal, and it, it barely covers the cost of labor and repairs. You know, repairs. I, but I mean that, you know, what I'm getting at the 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 material and the labor is what I'm trying to say. Um, but that, that barely covers that. You know, when you start talking about special dogs on it and cobra cord and and grade eight screws and, you know, and molding all this stuff, that takes time. So anyway, um, if, if you look at it this way, labor rate, you know, going labor rate around here is about a hundred bucks. And I'll tell you, it takes me I wouldn't say nine hours, but it's right up there. By the time you talk about modifying it and everything, that's not even, and you're talking about the cost of the parts. So anyway, um, but uh, so I, I guess the point I'm trying to make with, with, with my arborist that was saying that today is that, you know, you can buy three or four of these $500 so-called name brand saws, uh, my question is, if it only costs them 500 bucks and they can sell it and still make a profit, hmm, I'm starting to wonder about the quality of this name brand stuff. I mean, you can go online right now. Hell, you can go online at, at my website, www.papashop01.com. You can buy a clone for $500, and I guarantee you there's, there's not a whole lot of profit being made there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're we're talking pennies, folks. Um, so anyway, yeah, if, if you're out there getting a special discount on a name brand saw and and you're getting it for less than what you're getting this guy for, uh, can I get what you pay for? But uh, anyway, if you disagree with me, um, I'll be happy to talk to you in the comments down there. We'll talk about warranties. We'll talk about how much a warranty on this guy is. Uh, three year no BS warranty uh, built like a rock and still light as ever but uh, just because old goat knows how to do it so anyway um, I'm going to quit chattering I've been on here about 9 minutes now it looks like on the timer up here but uh, I just want to show you folks uh, the new HP upgrade this new wrap around thing I'm pretty proud of that that Looks pretty slick, and boy, this little girl, she just runs like a top. So, um, anyway, I'll wipe a little bit of my hand prints off of there so it continues to shine like that. I like that. Um, anyway, we're going to get that girl sent out. We're going to get another sticker put on the back side of it there. Um, again, leave your comments, subscribe, all that. And more importantly, check us out at www.com papashop01.com and uh, if you got any questions at all while you're on the website there's a little thing right there on the bottom right you just click on that you can talk to me directly um, other than that that's all I got for you today till next time be safe out there and happy motoring <laughs>